everyone and welcome back to Gridiron and Grace. In today's video, we are going to be redecorating some places in my home after Christmas. We're going to be starting in my living room on my fireplace and mantle, as well as decorating my TV piece that I have in the back of my living room. So I hope that you're ready to come along and do some decorating together. So in my living room, we're starting here on my mantle and I'm going to be putting a lot of the same pieces back up here that I had before the holidays. And I'm starting with this long dough bowl that I found at the um, Emporium, which is like a local thrift flea market store for $40. And then in it, I'm adding this greenery from Hobby Lobby. dough bowl i'm also going to be adding three of these small brass candlesticks and then on them i am putting these pitberry candle rings that i got from a store in tennessee and i have three of them that are about the same size and i'm just going to sit that right on top of this greenery In the middle, I'm going to put this grateful sign that I picked up several years ago from Old Time Pottery. And I think that the colors of this look really good with my brick that I have here on my fireplace. Moving to the left side, I'm going to be putting the same grouping of things that I had up here before changing it up just a little bit, but I'm going to be starting with this candle that I found at the Emporium with another one of those Pitberry candle rings right on top. I'm not adding a candle to this. And then in front of it, I'm also going to be adding another candle holder. I got this from uh, the same store that I told you I got the Pitberry candle rings from in Tennessee. And then to it, I'm adding this LED flameless flickering candle. I've shared before that I like to do things in groups of three, so that's what I'm going to be doing right here. I'm adding this piece, which is really a plate or a picture holder but i'm not using it for that purpose i'm going to be layering some candle rings on it this greenery candle ring came from a pack of three that i got from the target dollar spot years ago and then i'm also adding a smaller version of the pitberry candle ring in front of it Moving to the right side, I'm going to be putting this piece. It's actually a cheese mold. Um, I got it from that same store in Tennessee. I had it up here before with a greenery plant in it, but I'm going to be changing it up just a little bit. So I'm going to sit it up instead of lay it down. And then in front of it, I'm adding this rod iron candle holder that I got from Hobby Lobby. I feel like it mimics the one on the left side a little bit. Um, and then to this, I'm not going to be adding a candle. I'm going to be adding something different that I'll show you in just a minute. It. but behind it I'm going to be putting this little vase I got this at the fall time from Target but I thought the colors of it would look good on my mantle this little candle ring I got from dirt cheap in a pack of like five or six for like 25 cents so I thought it looked really cute and so I'm just going to put it on here and then on top of my cheese mold I'm going to lay a dolly my little brown vase I'm adding a couple of stems of this eucalyptus that I picked up from Target
And this is how my mantle turned out. I love neutral colors and because I decorate with a lot of neutral, I feel like I need to have different textured things. That's why I like to put different greenery pieces and things that vary in heights just to kind of give it, you know, a different look because it is a lot of neutral colors, but I'm loving how my mantle is looking. Before we move on to decorating the hearth part of my fireplace, I want to take just a minute to share that this video is in collaboration with Miss Susan from Susan's Cozy Condo Life, and I'm going to let her introduce herself to you, but make sure you click on the link down below my description box and go check out her channel. Hi, my name is Susan, and I have a YouTube channel, Susan's Cozy Condo Life, and my friend Emily of Gridiron and Grace has invited me to join her on a collaboration for a new year refresh. We're all cleaning up that dusty Christmas decor and trying to get a fresh, excuse me, a fresh start for the new year. And I was delighted to say yes and to join in on the fun. <clears throat> so if you've never watched my channel, please drop by after you watch Emily's and take a peek at what I do. And if you like it, I would love for you to subscribe and leave me a comment and let me know that you joined my family. And thanks again, Emily, for including this old lady in on this collab. Now, on with the fun. Now we are moving on to my hearth. I've never decorated my hearth before, so I'm so excited to be doing that now. I'm going to be adding these two pieces that I picked up from an antique flea market. I shared those in a haul a few videos ago and told you to come back so you can see where I put them. So they are going on my hearth as kind of like my background. I think these pieces look so good up against my brick here on my hearth and I'm so glad that I went with the two that I did and now I'm going to be decorating in front of them and this is my favorite new piece this is my little stool that came from that same uh, flea market and if you watched my haul you heard me say that I left it behind and then a friend picked it up for me later so I love it so it is going on my right side of my hearth and then on top of it I'm putting this little basket that I got um, a long time ago I think it came from home goods and in it I'm putting a little greenery piece with a brown base I got this from Hobby Lobby and then to soften it up a little bit I'm just going to drape a little dolly on it as well well. On the left side, I'm finally going to get to use this basket that I picked up several months ago for like a dollar from the thrift store. And then in it, I'm adding this new galvanized little pitcher and the greenery piece that I picked up on clearance from Hobby Lobby when I went shopping right after Christmas. I love how my hearth turned out. I think it just complements uh, how my mantle looks. You know, just a lot of neutral colors, greenery, textured pieces. Um, so I absolutely love how my whole fireplace is looking. And I think that this is just enough decor that it's not going to get in the way, but just another little area to cozy up for my home. Now we're going to be working on this TV piece that I have in the back of my living room. And to start, I'm adding one of my favorite decor pieces that I own. And it is this huge dough bowl that I got for $10 uh, from a store when we were on vacation in Tennessee because it has a little crack on it. I love this thing and will have it forever. And to it, I'm adding uh, the same little greenery garland like I have on my mantle. To the middle of the dough bowl, I'm adding this new lamp that I picked up from Dirt Cheap. Um, I've had this lamp shade for a little bit. I used to have a different lamp back here, um, but I think this one works a lot better, and I really like the color of it. So it's going in the middle of my dough bowl, and then on this side, I'm adding this set of three 
gold and brass candlesticks that I picked up from the um, Emporium. I think it was like five or six dollars for the set. I got these at the beginning of last year. And then on the other side, I'm going to be adding my two new mercury glass candlesticks that I picked up from Hobby Lobby at Christmas. To give it a little bit of that farmhouse element, I'm going to be adding these new beaded garland that I picked up from Hobby Lobby. And now I'm going in with some new candlesticks that I got for Christmas. Uh, my nanny got me these tall white candlesticks. I think they came from Hobby Lobby. And then I'm just going to layer them with these same candlesticks that I had up here before. I got these from the Emporium like five years ago for $13. And then on them, I'm just going to be adding that same little greenery vine ball that that I had to my white candlesticks. I'm adding a red and white pitberry candle ring uh, that my momo gave me and then just some white candles on top. To make it that group of three and give it a little bit of a personal touch, I'm going to be adding a picture in front of either set of candlesticks and both of these frames are Ray Dunn. Moving on to my three shelves, I'm going to start by placing my Love Grows Here planters. I had these up here before, and then I think they're just perfect for upcoming uh, Valentine's Day. And in there, I just have some little greenery plants from Ikea. On the side of that, I'm adding this large new ba uh, brass candlestick that I got from the Emporium. And to it, I just added another one of those red and white Pitberry candle rings. On the second shelf, I'm going in with this tray, and I'm going to put a collection of candlesticks. This first one was originally from Pottery Barn that I got from the Emporium for $4. And on top of it, I'm just going to be placing this greenery candle ring just to give it a little bit of texture. Beside it, I'm going to be going in with this gray candle holder that I got from Hobby Lobby. And on top of it, I'm going to be placing a vine ball that I also got from the Emporium several years ago. I think I paid like 50 cents for this. And then I I'm also going to be adding one more candlestick because you know that I like to do things in groups of three or a candle holder rather. And it is this um, like cast iron looking candle holder that I got from the store in Tennessee. And I also got these beads there as well. So I'm just going to layer these beads on here and then this is how the little tray turned out. finish off this shelf, I'm just adding this picture of me and Rowdy from his newborn photography session. On this bottom shelf, I'm going in with this pair of candle holders that I had down here before. These came from Hobby Lobby. And then I'm going in with this little tray from that store in Tennessee. Um, if you can tell, I'm a creature of habit and I pretty much shop at the same places when I find a store that I like. And I loved this little store. Um, and then to that, I'm just adding a green ruckus wreath and also a mercury glass candle holder. And now I am so excited to share with you this new stool that I got for Christmas. This came from Hobby Lobby and I have chosen to put it over here in this corner underneath this uh, window that I have pictures in. And I found a picture on Pinterest that was kind of my inspiration of how I wanted to decorate this. I did put my own spin on it, um, but I added a buffalo check pillow. And then in this corner, this is actually like a little pot warmer that I got from a thrift 
thrift store for like 20 cents. I'm also adding a little dolly. Uh, pretty sure I got that from a thrift store too. I know that this candle stick came from the Emporium. And then to it, I'm adding this little small greenery candle ring that I've had. Um, and I'm just kind of creating a little vignette over here. I'm also going to be adding these, or this little small um, brass candlestick, and to it I'm adding another one of those little greenery wreaths uh, or candle rings that came in that pack from Dirt Cheap, and I love how this little setup is looking, and then I'm also going to put uh, just one thing underneath the bench on the it's going to be on the floor but i'm going to be putting this little riser that i got from hobby lobby on clearance and to it i'm adding this new plant that i got from target it's from the hearth and hand line just to complete this little area my blanket ladder in this area before Christmas and so now that Christmas is over I'm just bringing it back I'm going to leave this little greenery wreath that I have up here and to it I'm adding this new blanket that I got for Christmas is from Simply Southern complete my blanket ladder I'm also going to be adding this little beaded garland that I got from Hobby Lobby I picked this up whenever I picked up um, that white set that I have in my dough bowl right here just to you know give it another farmhouse element and I absolutely love how this little area turned out make sure that you are subscribed because I still have one more thing I want to do in this area underneath that window that I have the pictures in but that will be in another video and the last thing that I'm going to do is put Put my little white and black pitberry stems back in these planters that I have on my wall in my living room. Alright friends, well I hope that you enjoy coming along and doing some decorating with me. Don't forget to go check out Susan's channel. I will have it linked down below in my description box. So go over and show her some love. I know that you will get a lot of motivation from her as I do. And I will see you all in the very next one. We're going to be decorating some areas in my kitchen. So make sure you're subscribed and come back and I'll see you then. Bye friends.